All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I'm super excited to talk to you guys today about what I did today at work. Um, so working backwards here, this is the last thing I did at work today, the last cabinet. I'm not sure the exact name of these, if these are PLCs or just controller cabinets or whatnot, but I'll try to get an answer for you guys tomorrow or not. So anyways, I'm not sure what I'm going to title this video yet, but anyways, I worked on these terminations today, um, stubbed these wires in at the end of the day. Um, this room had to get finished, so stayed a little bit later and went ahead and made up all these wires on the bottom right. So starting, if you can read that, from the um, the X10 to the X40. So all the um, like 10 wires, the rainbow wires right here um, coming in, worked on those. Um, the top blue wires were already done. And also I did land the left side actually I landed everything on the bottom except the last like five wires on the right side so anyways I worked on this cabinet um, and then I worked on uh, two more cabinets on the other side of the wall and then two cabinets upstairs so I got a lot done today um, I was actually destroying these at the end of the day just because I was getting familiar with it but you have to put on um, these labels right here these little I call them little hot pockets I'm not sure the name of them but they're the little labels so you put the little hot pocket on there um, on each wire so you know um, what it does and where it goes to. And then you strip it and then there's a little technique to um, open. I didn't slow that one down. So that was the second cabinet. This is the third cabinet. Um, so you push a little button um, and it opens up the little terminal. And then you stick the wire in and then you... Um, uh, so Okay, I'm going to try to do this again. So you stick the screwdriver in, you strip the wire out, you put the wire in the terminal and then you take the screwdriver out and it closes it um, so it's kind of like the this is going to be a really weird analogy but it's like the super mario bros 2 with a little uh little bird at the end of the level where you bird opens his mouth you walk in so anyways sort of like that but anyways um above the holes where the wire is at there's a little button to push so you push that with the screwdriver stick the wire in take the screwdriver out it closes it and just pull on it make sure the wire doesn't come out um, went ahead and landed all these on the bottom right here, um, the ground, the motor, um, and then a little jumper wire, and then the oven one, two, three, and four. Um, the fifth wire was missing, so I didn't get to do that one. The same with the last picture or video. Um, that one was missing the fifth oven wire as well. Um, so anyways, that's what I did today at work. I thought I left enough time to talk in the video, but um, I was talking too much. So anyways, that's what I did today. I did another two cabinets upstairs, which were a little bit different. So I did a total of five cabinets. Um, the ones upstairs um, had a motor on it, and I don't know what the other controls were for exactly, but I was following the schematics. I was pretty stressed out about this because I was on Thursday of last week. I was like, well, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing this week. Probably gonna have to do some of these terminations because there's nothing else left to do. And so I was kind of stressed out about it because I've never done it before, but it actually turned out to be pretty fun and exciting. Um, and it went faster than I thought and it was easier than I thought. So I was pretty happy about that. So um, I think people were surprised um, how quickly I caught on and how fast I was going. So pretty happy about that. So uh, anyways, I'll probably be doing a little bit more of that tomorrow. Um, the other three big cabinets upstairs are two cabinets for the ovens. Um, those ones are extremely detailed. There's, like I said, like 20 to 30 wires in there, with, which go to tons of different things. These ones were pretty basic, but it gives me the general idea. So this was the first time I was doing this ever, um, landing these wires in control cabinets or whatever you want to call them, PLCs. Um, so it was fun, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Almost to 5,000, which I'll be doing a giveaway here soon. Um, it would help out the channel. I'd love to see you guys back here in the next video. Check the description for anything else. I got all my playlists down there. If you need any um, tips or anything like that, or if you're a new apprentice or anything, check the description down there. There's uh, a apprentice playlist and stuff like that, um, tips and tricks and all that stuff. Um, and lastly, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thanks guys so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your night. And the reason why I uploaded this video late, because I basically worked a 12 hour day and then I had to do a, a two hour, um, union in initiation or like training or whatever. So they did like a two hour zoom meeting. So 
anyways, I uh, just finished, and that's it. So anyways, see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.